Now I've been playing Rust for many, many years. I've recorded hundreds of videos, I've raided hundreds of bases, and I've built many hotels. All right, awesome, Superman, enjoy your dream, man. But there's a whole other side to Rust that I've yet to explore, and that is console Rust. Just over a year ago, Rust was released on console. So today, I'm switching to the other team. This is 24 hours of Rust gameplay recorded on Rust console. Please take it easy on me. I haven't used a controller since I was like 10. But without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Don't really know what to expect with this, I'm going to be honest, because I've not really heard much about Rust Console recently. I don't know how the game's doing. I don't know what stage the game is in. The console version has a lot less stuff in it. Let's just jump in. Screw it. First time on the console version. My name in game is Friendly Rust Guy. Plain and simple. Hopefully we'll meet someone friendly. Okay, let's have a look then. We've got the official servers right here. We're going to go on a weekly server that wiped yesterday. Okay, I found a server. It's got 98 players on it. It's uh, it, it's 21 hours old. It wiped yesterday. Let's go. Oh, I'm hearing shots. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, it was a scientist. At least we got the first death of the day out of the way. I've got to figure things out here. I'm in the game. It looks like it's getting night. Oh, there's gestures in this game. There's a wooden base right here. How do I sprint? Let's jump. Let's crouch. Right, we need to figure out how to speak because that's like one of the most important things. Okay, here's my crafting menu. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to play the game. So just bear with me, people. Okay, mic test one, two. Mic test one, two. Okay, sweet. Oh, crap. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Do you have a microphone? Hello, people. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, okay then. That was a... I gotta f try and kill this guy. Oh, what? Hello? H hello? Crap back player. Yes, I am. Um, hello, can you hear me? Oh, cool. Yes, I'm friendly, bro. How you doing? This is my first time playing console. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Uh, people are pretty brutal on here. Yep, for sure, dude. For sure. <laughs> um, do you want to make a team? I didn't know if you were going to... Uh, sure. I don't really have much going. How do you make a team? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. Um... I don't play this game. I've played it like three times. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me walk up to you. I'm not going to attack you. I don't have my weapon out. Um, I don't know. Okay, well, do you have a base, bro? I don't know. I'm just kind of been running around. Not really. I mean, I do. I built some walls around another thing. Uh, I'll take you to it. It's kind of crappy, but... Yeah, let's check out your base, bro. Let's go. Cool. Hell yeah. L living in the woods is good, though. Like, it's... it's disc oh, what? Yo, is this it? <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Uh, All right, I'll take my, I'll put my weapon away. Thanks for trusting me inside your base. This is cool, dude. I don't have any weapons yet. I'm trying to get them. I mean, I was about to go to Lighthouse and get uh, a little bit more low grade. Here, take this, bro. Take this. Oh, well, that works now. Look at that. Um, now I can make a furnace. Hell yeah, dude. All right, well, listen, Drake, I'm going to probably go off now because I'm, uh, well, I'm going to go to the bottom of the map. I'm actually going to live near Sewer Branch. But it was nice meeting you, bro. Thank you, bro. Nice meeting you, too. All right, we'll take it easy. Good luck. Hopefully nobody uh, kills you. Hopefully you kill people. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Bye. What a nice guy. Good luck, Drake. I didn't know how to accept his team invite. <laughs> that was nice, though. We met someone friendly. Gave him all my low grade. Hopefully you craft a furnace now, mate. All right, let's see if we can grab another green key card from the gas station. And then we're going to head down to the sewer branch. Is there a green? Yes, there's a green key card here. Sweet. <laughs> Somebody just put in the global chat, do you want to team up? The guy just replied, no. Oh, and he just put go away. I think console might be more brutal than PC at this rate. Okay, how are we doing on inventory here? We've got a lot of rubbish. Let's throw away some of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, we can actually craft a tool cupboard as well. So we'll do that now. Tool cupboard's being crafted. And we'll craft a lock and a building plan and hammer as well. Okay, sweet. We're almost ready to build a base. Okay. 
Hey, I'm at the sewer branch. I can't loot it at the moment because I've not got inventory space, but we're going to live around here. The goal for today is to do a satchel raid. I can't call myself the satchel king if I've yet to do a satchel raid on console. <laughs> All right, so that's the goal. That's it. That's my only goal. It's the only thing I want to do is raid someone's base. Yeah, it's just like a pretty good spot, boys. Right next to the sewer branch. And we got a good ocean view. I'll take it. Doors down, locks on. I'll do. And there you go. Simple as that. We've got a base, people. Let's grab a bit more wood. Place a box down so we can store this loot away. Oh, there's a guy living right next to me right here with Twig. Hello? You friendly? Okay, well, whoever lives there is not home now. Maybe we could do a little Ioka raid on this guy later. Potential first raid target. Home sweet home. Okay, crafting a storage box. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Fuse is going in. I'm using pretty much my same strat that I use on PC on console. Couple of Sir Branch runs, get ourselves a couple hundred scrap, get the satchel researched. Hopefully we can get some kills along the way. Don't bank on it because my aim with the controller is shocking. <laughs> All right, back to base. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot about this parkour section. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go for it. If I fall more than two times, we'll, we're doing it later. A few moments later. Oh, no. Okay, made it back. First trip complete. We've got enough metal to craft a sheet metal door from all the recycling we did there. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to the parkour section. I think I could do it. Oh. I did it. I did the parkour section. Give me that weapon crate. Oh, auto turret. Well worth. Boom. Let's get that back to base right now. That now puts us at 372 scrap. Oh my god, I see a player. I need to try and kill this guy. Wait. I just want to say, the console version of Rust is so much slower. You'll notice this a lot in today's video. People literally stand still. And, you know, the PvP is going to look a lot different. It's going to look a lot more basic. But you get used to it after a little bit. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Wait, wait, wait. We can talk about this. He's got a sword. It's so hard to hit a shot. You can't move your head around on this game. Go, go. As this game pisses me off, man. It starts doing gestures and sh. I hit him and killed him. Yes, I killed him. I killed a player. We did it. Give me that hatchet. All right, furnace is being crafted. Boom. Furnace is on. We've got 441 scrap, so we're doing all right, to be fair. We'll upgrade the base at some point. Tier 1 workbench is being crafted. Okay. I'm going to grab all my scrap, and I'm going to see... Uh, oh, I've already got it. I'm going to see... I'm going to see how far down the tech tree we can go. The satchel charge is all the way down there. Tech tree is pretty much the same. There's not a lot of electricity. They do have ceiling light, though. But I don't know if I don't know if they have solar panels and all that sort of jazz. I just think they might just have ceiling lights that you use. They probably just don't even need electricity, maybe. I don't know. Could be wrong there. But anyway, let's start researching down to the satchel. See how far we can get right now with what we've got so far. Okay. There we go. We'll be at the satchel in no time. Okay, Aoka's being crafted. Grab the sulfur from in here. Make loads of gunpowder. Alright, mate, neighbor. Unfortunately, you are my closest neighbor and you must go. Little coastline base here. Boom. Let's get rid of this guy, whoever you are. Goodbye. One more shot. We're in. Okay, tool cupboard's locked. We'll come back for that in a sec. Some components, an extra green key card, which is actually really good. Right, we'll craft more handmaids to get through the tool cupboard. We'll be back in a sec. Back at base. I'm going to place this snap trap outside my base because there's a nice rock here just outside my front door and it's pretty well hidden. Uh, we'll place that there. Hope maybe somebody will fall for that. I don't know. One more hit for TC. Give us something. Let's see what we got. Okay. Not the best, but it was a raid. 
<laughs> I'm happy with the green key card. I think that was the best piece of loot that we got. And there was one tech trash, which recycles for quite a bit. So I'll take it. All right, well, there's Yoko raid out the way. Now onto the next task, a satchel raid. And actually, after one more sewer branch run, we'll probably have enough to research the satchel. So let's see. Grab all this stuff here. Loads of tap, which is nice. I need the cloth. Okay, let's go. Ooh, oil refinery. Recycle all this. This is going to give us a lot of scrap. 400 scrap we got. That'll definitely be enough for the satchel. Let's go. Satchel has been researched. Now we've just got to craft a few of these and then we'll be on our way. Oil refinery is going down. I'm just going to place this outside my base. If any nakeds want to use this, then they can feel free. There's a player outside my base. Stealing my food. Oh, he got hit by the trap. He died. I'm hearing flies. Oh my God. Oh my God. The snap trap worked. Hidden rocks for the win. Hide your snap traps inside rocks. Free stone. I'll take it. I need to arm it. I just heard a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of stone. And 1,200 sulfur. So he's going to come back for his loot. Ideally, I should try and arm the trap again before he comes back. He's back. He came back. Oh, it's too late for me to arm the shot. Uh, arm the trap. Oh, he's armed it himself. Thanks for arming the trap for me, mate. Thanks for the free loot. I've not made a single noise, so... Oh, he died to it again. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, my God, he did. Oh, he must have been baiting me. Now he knows... I'm an idiot. Now he knows I freaking live here. <laughs> All right, try and raid me anyway, mate. Okay, I need to farm some wood. I'm going to go get some wood. Farm a little bit of sulfur as well. I need a target. We need a raid target. If we can find out where that guy lives that just fell for the trap twice, <laughs> then um, we'll definitely have a look at that. Okay. All my metal is in my furnace. I'm going to add some more furnaces in a moment. I'm also going to do some base upgrading. Again. Oh my god, I killed a guy. Double barrel. My it's done it again, boys. It's done it again. <laughs> Give me that DB. And I need to arm the trap again. Trap is armed. Get back in base. Oh, oh my god. Is that the same guy or is it a different guy? It's gotta be a different guy. That I refuse to believe that that guy would have fallen for that three times in a row. That's a different guy. Thanks for the double barrel, mate. Okay, I've really got to upgrade my base now. Okay, I'm going to put the snap trap down again. And when somebody runs around checking out my base, boom, don't see it, bam. Okay, I've done a little bit of base upgrading, as you guys can see. Oh, there's a new base that's been built down there. That two by two, I don't recognize that. There's also a nice looking base over there on the coastline, right on the edge of the map. I'm just looking for raid targets. So uh, I probably won't raid that guy because that's a brand new base. But the guy further up over there, possible, uh, that's a possibility. Or the guy way at the back over there. That's also a possibility. His base looks pretty good. So we're almost getting to the point where we'll be ready to raid soon. So we need a target. Okay, people. Moment of truth. The last bean can is being crafted. And just like that, we have officially got 11 satchels. There you go. I've got 10 right there. And there you go. I've just crafted the 11th. 11 satchels. 10 to blow through a wall and 1 to get through TC. Let's go and find a base to raid. This is just something that I've had to do, I'm afraid. I can't call myself the Satchel King if I don't do a Satchel raid on console. So it's uh, about time. Let's go find a base to raid. We can't fail this. That's the main thing. That will be embarrassing. Why have I always got low health on this game? I swear, I... I, I, I I, I get to full health, and then out of nowhere, I'll just be like, oh, there you go. I'm like, I have no health again. Okay, I can see some base upgrading that's happened over on this base over here. This guy right here has upgraded his base. 
This was just the 2x2 two two a few minutes, like, well, about an hour ago. Now it's, uh, yeah, it's been upgraded. Okay, I'm a bit scared. I'd have to guess where his loot room is. And it would basically be... So it goes down. There's a rug right there. I think I reckon his main loot room is probably through here where this rug is. So it goes in there. Then I reckon it goes down there. Then it goes around all the way. And then his main loot room's here. So, 10 satchels through the side. Straight in. Let's just not even think about it. Let's just go and get the satchels and let's just do this. I'm really bad at console, but let's give this a go. All right, grab a door and a lock and a building plan and some stone and some wood and the satchels. And on that note, we are freaking ready to go. Maybe a couple bandages as well, because why not? If that door is blocking me, let's freaking go, boys. Craft some bandages. Come on. I'm hearing a lot of shots. Here we go, boys. I think that hit the freaking foundation. You've got to be kidding me. Some of those are hitting the foundation. Okay, but it didn't blow up, so that might be okay. I don't know. Or not. That didn't hit the wall. I'm screwed, I think. We might be screwed here because one of them hit the foundation. It didn't... Oh, I do have an extra satchel, so we might be okay. You have to aim really high on console. Screw it. Let's go. One more. Shit. I didn't get in. Got him. I need to heal up. Now, just like that, we managed to make a play, <laughs> albeit it was very scuffed. Now, you might be wondering, what did I do wrong in this raid? Well, the satchel throw distance is not quite as much as it is on PC. And because I'm so used to playing PC, I just assumed it would be the same. The satchels drop off much quicker on console, so you have to aim a lot higher, or you have to be a lot closer to the wall. Anyway, we've basically messed this up a little bit because we're going to have to go home and craft another satchel to get in this guy's base. One of the satchels hit the foundation instead of the wall, but not to worry. We're going to go straight back to base and craft more satchels. Okay, I need to loot this guy's stuff now and get out of here. Right, let's go home. Screw it. This guy might be online, so we need to, um, I don't know if he is, but he did upgrade his base recently. Okay, let's go, people. Let's go. We've got one satchel. If he's got a TC, then we'll just go back and craft another satchel. But I don't want that wall to repair, and I don't want that guy to steal my raid, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm, I wasn't hearing any sounds. Oh, for frack's sake. Ah, quickly bandage up. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get through it. All right, we're in. Oh, boxes. It's all open. I think his TC might be locked, though. No, it's not. Okay, we can build. Doors down. Just got to get the lock on. We did it. All right, let's check out the loot then. What have we got in here? First thing, I'm, well, one of the first things I'm going to do is destroy this guy's bag. Although that's probably not necessary. I don't see him online. So I, I don't see, well, I don't see him asleep in here. So he probably is online. He could be. 
Let's grab as much loot as we can and then leave. All that metal. Okay, we're going to grab the most important loot first. Look at that sulfur. Beautiful. And a medical syringe. Not bad. That's probably not that important, to be fair. I'll prioritize in a minute. Don't worry. We did a freaking raid on console. It's official. Yeah, look at this. Components box. That's what I like to see. Yes. There's the TC. Look at all that metal. 100 high qual. Again, we'll come back for some of the loot. Let's go. I'm going to swim over. Take no risks. We'll come straight back for the rest. Made it back. There we go. Success. Full inventory of loot right there. Um, very decent. Happy with, ha really happy with that. 100 high qual, loads of sulfur. Um, loads of metal fragments as well, which is nice. Going to use that to upgrade the base a bit more and stuff like that. So yeah, decent. All right, let's depot this and then go collect the scraps. Okay, bam. I'm going back to the base. Okay. Oh. Hello. TTV Mini. I'm sorry for raiding you. Do you have a microphone? TTV Mini. Give me a, a nod if you're there. Okay, I'll just assume he's AFK. Oh, he's got a jackhammer. I didn't see that. He might not even know he's been raided. Okay, we've taken all his loot. Mini, if you're watching this, sometimes in Rust I'm friendly, believe me, but sometimes I am, just like any other Rust player, brutal. Adios, amigo. So there you go. We successfully completed a satchel raid on console. After getting back to base, I did some more base upgrading. Now there's one more thing left to do before I bid farewell to console and join my Conrads back in the PC world of Rust. See, one of my cousins has been watching my videos for years, but we've never gotten the chance to actually play Rust together because he doesn't have a gaming computer. He's a console boy. So, we're gonna seize the opportunity and we're gonna go and meet my cousin Jake. I drove to his house in real life. I built him a base close to where we live near the sewer branch. And so without further ado, meet my cousin Jake. Yo. Let me in. Yo. Do you have a, can you speak? There we go. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. All right. Wait, say that again. <laughs> what happened? Tell me what happened. <laughs> Welcome to Rust, mate. All right, well, have you, where's the hospitality? Have you got any food? Where's the hospitality? All right, thank you, I'll have. Right, have you got any food for me? Like, is it, okay. All right, we're the scammer. Go in the box. Bugger off. Charities, we don't do charities. Okay. All right, everybody, so that's going to conclude today's video. Um, a bit shorter than usual, I imagine, but um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I had to try out Console Rust at some stage um, and check it out because I've heard mixed reviews. Um, I would say overall, if you've only got a console, then I think it does the job. I think you'll still have some fun playing the game. Uh, for me personally, who doesn't play console and does, I'm, not, I'm not used to the controller, I feel like I was just extremely bad at the game. But if you're somebody that has actually played console for a few years, you might actually find this quite fun. You might actually get some kills and stuff because not everybody on the game is just a complete chat, which tends to be the case on the PC game. Um, and so, I don't know, I think you might have some fun playing console. It's, there was a couple things that I didn't like about this version of the game. Um, as I said before, the interactive side of the game is much less. People talk much less. Um, and so, and that's like one of my favorite parts of Rust. Um, obviously I'm not sponsored or anything like that, so do what you want. Um, it is quite a lot of money to be fair, like 44 pounds for this game. I do think they've done a good job with it. I think they've done the best they can, and I think they're constantly improving this. So I think it will get better over time. 
Um, and if so, if you are going to buy the game, you can rest assured that the people working on it are going to continue up to, to update it and add new things and things like that. So you'll probably get your money's worth in the long run if you do play this game for a long time. But as you know, it's rust and most people tend to get sick of it. Uh, it's 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 not a game for the faint hearted. Uh, I'm rambling on. If you enjoyed today's video, drop it a like. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll come back to console at some point. Maybe I'll build a hotel on console next time I play the game. See how that goes. Anyway, shorter video than usual. Um, I'll be back with a longer video in the next video. I've got some big plans for the PC version of Rust and getting straight back into that um, on wipe. Uh, ready for the Halloween update. That's going to be a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.